Today we're going to make frozen banana pops. This is a terrific um, dessert, snack, um, and it's also a fun activity if you're looking for an activity to do with grandchildren or children. Um, it's pretty easy to do and um, you get to eat, eat your project afterwards. We start out with a couple of bananas. They should probably be a little bit greener um, just because they hold up better. And we're going to cut the banana in half and take the ends off. I like to insert the, the skewer or the stick first um, before I peel it. And today I'm using, these are um, just bamboo spoons. They have a nice broad um, handle, so I'm using those. You could use, um, I've read where people have used chopsticks or skewers or um, popsicle sticks. But um, these were in the kitchen and so they work great. Then we're going to peel the banana. Just get that skin off. This would be a great way to serve a banana to a child too. I'm just because um, it's a little easier to eat to hold on to. So again, inserting the spoon into the banana, not all the way through, um, and then pulling the skin off. I microwave some chocolate chips. These happen to be dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's a little healthier, so um, that, that was my choice. You could use uh, milk chocolate or um, you could use the uh, white chocolate or those melting, the colored uh, melting wafers that you can get for making candy. Um, they would be really pretty for a, a special occasion if you're, you have a theme or a party theme going. We're taking our banana, just going to dip it in the chocolate. Um, we can use the spatula or a spoon to help pull chocolate up over it so it's coated. We want to coat it as much as possible. Just getting getting that covered. Um, I don't think you could ever have too much chocolate. So there we go. Um, I used about a half a bag of chocolate chips for this recipe and the recipe uses two or three bananas and um, makes four to, four to six servings. After we've coated it with chocolate, we can just sprinkle it. I'm using color sprinkles today. You could use toasted coconut, ground peanuts or other nuts. Um, I've also saw where they took dried, freeze dried fruit like strawberries and crushed that into a powder and um, rolled them in that, which sounds really good. So just covering it with sprinkles. You know, if, if you're doing this with kids, you're probably gonna have um, more sprinkles on that than and put it on a plate. Bananas are a great source of potassium, B6, vitamin C, um, good source. There's three grams of fiber in a banana, so it's a pretty good source of fiber. And it's pretty low in calories, at about 105 calories per banana. So it's a great, great food choice. This is also a good food choice for individuals who are trying to maintain their blood sugar. Choosing a greener banana is a better choice. Um, when the bananas are, are green, they have what's called resistant starch. And that starch, as the banana ripens, will turn into sugars. But while it's, while it's in the green state, um, there's some studies that believe that the resistant starch is, is beneficial to um, individuals watching their blood sugar because it helps moderate the um, the food spikes in, in blood sugar. Greener bananas also help slow our digestion. That helps us feel full longer, so we might not eat as much, so it could be a good um, benefit for somebody trying to watch their weight a little bit. And we look at bananas as a source of potassium as well. We're gonna coat this one as like we did the first. I like to make sure every single part of that banana has chocolate on it. Um, when I melted my chocolate, I left it sit a little bit so that it started to um, set up again. If you do this when the chocolate comes right out of the microwave, um, it could be too thin, and then you won't get as much chocolate. Spin that around again. We're just going to add some more sprinkles. 
Um, and you could also roll these in granola um, or pretty much any, any crunchy snack. Um, just crush, crushing the, the snack food, um, maybe some of the pretzels and roll them in those as well. It, the sky's the limit on what your topping is. Putting these on a plate, these are gonna go in the freezer for 30 to 30 minutes to up to two hours to make sure that the chocolate is good and firm and the banana starts to freeze. Um, I suggest eating them when they're on a more frozen state. When they, when, if you let them um, sit out and they, the banana starts to feel a little mushy when you bite it, but you could also, it's kind of the texture of ice cream. So um, if, if you think about it that way, um, it's going to taste pretty good. So enjoy your bananas in a new and different way. If you'd like this recipe or other recipes from Silver Platter, please go to frederickcountymd.gov slash senior services.